Okay, a few questions. Subject, whose worship is good for us? This is a question from um, Umesh Kulkarni. What does it actually mean by worshipping the lotus feet of a pure devotee or the Lord himself? <clears throat> That's the first question. Yeah, we speak of worshipping the feet of a devotee or of the Lord. Uh, that means we approach in complete humility. The, the foot is the lowest part of the body. So we think that our high, we bow down at the feet, which means that we think... we. we our highest part is lower than the lowest part of the person being worshipped. So it's an expression of humility. And the devotees, they generally look at the feet of the Lord. They don't feel themselves qualified to uh, go higher or to have a very familiar relationship. So they describe the beauty of the feet of the Lord. Whom should we worship? Our Acharya's lotus feet, Rupa Goswami, Jiva Goswami Prabhupada, or Radha Krishna's lotus feet, which are rarely attained. Well, we say our Acharya's lotus feet. What about Srila Prabhupada? Why, you know, why jump all the way up to Rupa Goswami and Jiva Goswami, leaving out so many others in between? It's a holistic process. We worship the Acharyas by their mercy. We attain to Radha and Krishna. There's, there's no question of what. If we worship the Acharyas, we follow their instructions which is to uh, worship Radha and Krishna. So we worship the Acharyas fully by also worshipping Radha and Krishna. And we cannot worship Radha and Krishna with bypassing the Acharyas. So both are worshipped. It's not one or the other, but both. It's required to worship both. 